Welcome to this Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I will be showing you how you can create a split screen system which automatically detects when a controller is connected or disconnected. I am using the third person template for this tutorial, but you can use this on any of your existing projects. First I will create a new folder called Blueprints. In here I will create a new Blueprint class of the class Gameo Base. I will call this Blueprint Split Screen Game mode. There we go. Let's open this up. Now, in here, what we want to do, we want to first get the game instance. From here, we want to assign. Assign. There we go. Sign on input device connection change. Here, we will be using two things. First of all, the input device ID. This, I don't know why it is its own structure. This, from my knowledge, this is only an integer, but you cannot pass it directly to an integer. So what we are going to do is first pass it to a string and then to integer. There we go. Now we can check if this integer is not zero. Because if the input device ID is zero, that means that we just connected the first or disconnected the first controller which is supposed to control the same character as the keyboard and mouse does. So we want to check for that. And after that we want to switch on the connection state yes, you know. There we go. For this tutorial we will only be using disconnected and connected. For disconnected we want to get the input device ID and get player controller from input device. Then we want to remove local player and also destroy the pawn. When a new controller is connected, we just want to create local player. This is pretty much all we need for changing events. Now let's create a new custom event. Let's call it connect existing devices. And we, want, and we want to call this from begin play. In here we want to get all input devices. And then we want to loop through each of them. Here we also have the input device ID. However, instead of casting it to a string and then to an integer, we can just use the array index. Here we will do the same as above, we will check if this isn't zero because again the first controller is not supposed to create a new split screen player but is controlling the same player as the keyboard and mouse does. And if it's not the same one we just again want to create a local player. Now the next thing we want to do is go over to the left side to functions, click override and select the choose player start function from the game of base. Now before we continue on in here, we will go back to the map and duplicate this player start. I will duplicate it three times. You can do this up to you can have up to four local players so you can have any number between one and four player starts. Then we want to start Go to the details panel and search for tag. In the actor tag, we want to add a tag. For the first player start, we want to add tag 0. For the second one, 1. And for the third, the yeah, tag 2. If you have 4, you can go, um, the next tag will be 3. So it's, it's an index of the player starts. In here and choose player start. This will uh, this will be called for every player that joins. So first, we want to get all actors of class and get the player controller. There we go. Then we want to know how many player controllers we actually got and subtract that number by one. So we get the index. Next, we want to get all actors of class with tag. The class we are searching for is the player start. 
and we can't directly input the integer as a name so we first have to cast it to string and then we can input that string into a name now we can use the index of the player controller to find the player start with the tag which is the index of set controller to spawn the player and in here we should only find one player start so we can just get a copy of item 0 at the item at index 0 and return this and before we continue we want to select the blue string split string game mode and set our default pawn class to the third person character or whichever character you are using in your project <coughs> Then we can go to project settings, maps and modes, and change the default game mode to the split screen game mode. If you are using an Unreal Engine template, then you will most likely have to overwrite the world overwrite game mode in this menu. Select the game mode base class and your split screen game mode. Now let's test this. When I start, we have our first player which is controlled by the keyboard and mouse. If I now connect the first controller, you can see on the bottom right that a new device has been connected with the index 0. So we did not create a new local player, but we are just we are still controlling this same character. If I add a second controller, we can see that the split screen is created and we can move around with this character. We can also add a third controller. And see so we now have a three-way split screen. I can also remove, let's say, the second controller and we are back to only two split screens. I have found that there sometimes is an issue in the Unreal Editor when trying to connect the second gamepad for the first time where you cannot move around on the, on the split screen character. I am not sure why this happens, I believe this is something within the Unreal Editor because I have never had it happen in a package build and if you just stop the project and then play again, then you are still able to move around. This was my tutorial about split screen in Unreal Engine 5. I hope this helped you with your project. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And I hope I see you next time. Bye!